What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me today, I'm finally gonna be showing you guys my 2021 Dodge Ram Classic. This video is definitely overdue because I bought this back in October 2021. I just have not had the chance to make this video yet showing you guys. So today we're gonna be doing a tour of the truck and showing you guys some of the highlights and uh, my favorite parts of the truck basically. But also, uh, I'm doing this video because I'm gonna be doing some upgrades to the truck very soon. The fog lights, uh, the headlights were already done last year but I might make a video because I might upgrade them again uh and different aspects of the truck so let's get into this so here we go here is my 2021 dodge ram classic i decided to go with the night edition because to me it absolutely looked the best the express is the one that has the front bumper that matches the paint color of the truck. I didn't want to go with the Warlock because it's a plastic bumper and I didn't really like the look of that. And I didn't want any chrome, so I didn't decide to go with anything other than the Express Night Edition. Now we're just gonna go around to the vehicle here. What you get with the Night Edition is the headlights are actually tinted a little bit darker than the regular ones. You have the black 20 inch alloy rims, which I absolutely love. You have the badge on it that says Hemi 5.7 liter. It is a V8 engine, Ram 1500 classic. You do have the black side steps, which I obviously wanted side steps on this truck. Now this isn't included in the night edition, but I'm really glad that we do have it here. That is these tow mirrors. Now I don't tow anything, but if you don't tow anything, it actually, this little mirror here is your blind spot mirror. So virtually this truck has no blind spots, which is awesome. Obviously you're still gonna do your blind spot check, but it does actually help. Now this here, if you were towing something that was kind of oversized, you can flip them up like so, which is awesome. Now the other thing about this here with the tow mirrors, it's not automatic. There's no button inside that you can fold them in. You actually have to manually fold them in. Just like that. Really easy to do. I was actually annoyed at first, but now I'm really used to it. Moving on to the back here, we're gonna show you guys the tailgates. Now, because it is a V8 engine, it does have the dual tip exhaust, which is awesome. And because it is a 2021, it does have this, for the night edition, the Ram logo. It's kind of hard to see with this angle of how I parked, but the huge Ram logo on the back, which at first I wasn't a fan of, and now I absolutely love it. Moving on inside the tailgate here, there is interior lights here. There is a button on the side. You just press it and it lights up on both sides, and there's a lot of room. I went with the one that was already uh, covered in the back instead of the color of the truck. I like that it is the uh, textured one. Now the tunnel cover here is an aluminum uh, black folding tri-cover. Sorry, uh, it's not a tri-cover. It folds three times and then it folds up to the window rather than only fold up to the last part and you miss about this much. Here you only miss that small amount and the rest folds up against the window. You strap it on and there is these little extensions for it so it does not move. It actually is really, really handy and I absolutely love it. Now moving on here, the only thing that was chrome on this truck was the antenna. I did replace it with this black bullet stubby because it actually has a lot better reception than the stock one that came with it. And it actually looks a lot better on the truck rather than the long one that was I'm just not a fan of it. It was the only thing that was chrome on the truck. Why do they have anything chrome if it is the night edition and the only thing was the antenna? So now we're gonna go and take a look on the interior of the truck. And I absolutely love this. So we're gonna start with the driver's side back seats. Now in here, there is the vents in the back, the two cup holders here and in behind the seats, there is an extra two. So there's a total of four cup holders in the back, which is awesome. Now, I am a big guy. I decided to go with, obviously, the crew cab for this truck. Also, this is gonna be a long-term truck. One day we're gonna be starting a family, so we wanted something that we could do that with. And as a big guy, I have really long legs, so I like to stretch them out. So if I'm ever in the back seat of this truck, there is a ton of leg room, which I absolutely love. Now, underneath the seats here, they do fold up like so. And there actually is a lot of storage in the back here. We have all of our reusable bags back here. That's something a lot of people in these videos don't talk about. I decided to mention it because there is a lot of room back there. Now this here underneath it folds up for additional storage. Same as on the other side and I'll show you that later. Now it does clip back on like that. And these parts here actually fold out 
and it folds like such and it is now flat so you can get the other side as well to make it flat across the whole back of the truck and it does not cover the um, cup holders so you can still have stuff in your cup holders but you will have to remove them to obviously fold this one out now these have a I think total weights uh, that they can hold is 150 each so 300 total but 150 each so you will have to spread it out a little bit so a lot of storage room a lot of leg room in this truck underneath here I decided to go with the uh, WeatherTech floor mats just because I trust them with my last truck. They have a uh, lifetime warranty, actually. I didn't realize that, so I decided to get them for this truck. But underneath the floor mats here, there is additional storage in the seats, or in the floor, sorry. So we have our locking nuts and such. It actually is this bin here that you can actually take out to wash if you need to and put it back in. So now we're gonna move on to the other side for the back seats. Moving on to the passenger side rear. Again, a lot of leg room. This actually folds out with the center and now it is a longer piece here. So this one here will fold out all the way across. Obviously I have something there so I'm not gonna fold it out right now. Underneath. There's even more storage, so you get the center storage. And right here, so this is from the old truck. This is not the one that is included, the jack. So this is the jack and the uh, kit from my old truck because I like the cylinder jack. This truck is actually equipped with a scissor jack, which I'm not a huge fan of, and I'll show you guys that in a second. And on this side, there is the storage there as well. And also in the back here, even more storage across the whole back so i do have my windshield cover in here which is a heavy duty one and there's a lot of storage back there as well moving on to the passenger seats front we do have again there is a lot of leg room on this truck we're going to start on the side here there's no buttons for automatically adjusting the seat it's all manual with the bar on the front like a traditional vehicle underneath here this piece actually pulls off really easy and right under here is your scissor jack. So again, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I do like the idea of having additional jacks for my vehicle in case one were to fail. Now up here, you do have a decent size glove box, which is awesome. And you do have this shelf here, which can store a lot of stuff. I do it temporary. I don't leave stuff in that shelf because I kind of want to get a rubber mat for it because if you leave anything on here and you take corners, sometimes it slides back and forth and bangs it up. So I definitely don't want that. Now up here, there is a little uh, storage spot, a really small one. Another one here, you have a small shelf underneath here that's kind of hidden out of the way. You do have the storage that's on top of here. I went with the one that is the folding console instead of the solid one because I need the extra leg room. It does have a plug in here, USB plug here, and there's more inside this as well. So in here, this opens up for additional storage and you do have, I think it's an aux cable and two USB ones as well. So that's the ones I plug into if I need to use the navigation. So this truck does not come with navigation. I have to use my phone's navigation, but if I plug it in and wire the phone up, so I plug my phone in and it'll charge it, it'll actually come up on the screen with my navigation rather than have to look at the phone, which is awesome. So we're gonna look at this more in the minutes, but underneath here, there is more storage which is something that's usually missed i don't know why people miss it all the time but there's storage underneath the seat here and a decent amount so i have our first aid kit jacks and other stuff underneath there but for some reason people always miss that spot whenever they're doing these review videos so i decided to include it in mine so now for the driver's seat i'm going to start up the truck in a second here so up first the seat here itself, you have your lumbar support here and you have the automatic adjusters for adjusting the seats rather than the passenger side, which is all manual. Underneath here, there is a little bit of storage, but nothing is gonna be secured. It will be bouncing around. So I'm now gonna get in it and show you guys the screen as it started and the big display here. All right, so we're gonna put the key in. And we're gonna start it up here. So it comes up Ram 1500. And then right now I have it set uh, showing my speed on here. I'm just gonna turn the fan down so you guys can actually hear me. So you can actually go through the menu here and you can have it showing the tire pressure all around, the current fuel level, your trip, 
if you're towing, your audio, which since I use audio from Spotify, it actually doesn't show up on there for some reason. Uh, any stored messages, which I don't even use. You can do your setup screen. And that is about it. So I absolutely love the screen. It's very easy to uh, read and understand when you're driving, which is awesome. Now here is the display. It's a huge display. Now if you go, this is a classic, so if you go with the other models, which are more expensive trucks, this is sometimes bigger. It goes all the way down, and these buttons are included in it. For me, I like the look of how it looks right now, so that's why I decided to go with this truck. So I do have the media since I do have Bluetooth set up, but because I'm recording on my phone, I can't play any music through it right now. You can select your source, so if I do have my phone plugged in to the center console here, it will come up here, and I put USB 1 or USB 2, but we're gonna leave it on uh, Bluetooth for now. If I do have it on there instead of phone, I actually didn't expect music to play uh, since I'm recording a video. So that was actually really cool for me. But uh, if I do have it wired and I do choose USB one or two, then instead of phone, it'll actually have, instead of my contacts up here, it will actually have my navigation for the phone, which is really cool. So this truck here doesn't come with any of its own navigation, but it does have it included with, uh, if I wire in my phone to charge it and plug in my phone, it was included in there. So you do have your climate control right here, which is really, really cool and easy. You do have your heated seats and everything here as well, including your mirror dimmer, backup camera, and your settings. You do have other apps on here as well if you do need them. I already showed you guys the phone. The backup camera, I didn't show you guys on the tailgate, but there is a backup camera on this truck, which is awesome. And there is more settings that you can change and alter as well. So there we go. That is the look at my 2021 Dodge Ram Classic Night Edition. I absolutely love this truck. Now, if you guys remember before, I did have the 2010 GMC Sierra. The reason why I had to get rid of that, trade it in and get this brand new truck was because last year I already paid about a hundred, no, seven hundred dollars maybe in repairs for that truck. It did need brakes all around which was going to be pretty expensive it did need suspension all around which was going to be pretty expensive the tailgate did lock so the only way to get into the tailgates was going to be to cut into the $400 tunnel cover and then to replace the lock and the assembly on the tailgate was going to cost money as well and that's all the stuff that I knew about that truck was already 11 or 12 years old at the time I traded it in so to me, it was definitely time to upgrade and get a new vehicle because even if I did all those repairs, which was gonna be in the ballpark of three to $4,000, that I don't know how much longer I was going to have the truck for. I don't know if something else was going to go on the truck or if I'd need to repair something else on the truck or if something were to just happen to the truck. So instead of me stressing and worrying about it, I decided to get this 2021 Dodge Ram. I was looking at other vehicles, not specifically Dodge, but I was wanting a Dodge for my next vehicle. I started to go into Dodge dealerships. I took a few for a test drive. I took a 2018 for a test drive. Didn't really care for it. 2019 for the test drive didn't really care for it i was looking at other used vehicles and that day i decided to go and look at brand new trucks and i looked at this one here it had everything that i wanted the side steps the night edition everything that i needed the crew cab the tunnel cover which was later installed uh, but everything that i wanted in my next truck was included in this truck so i decided to just bite the bullet and get this truck and the payments are really great the insurance is a little bit high but that is going to come down next year or so so i'm told so this truck here is again my forever truck I absolutely love it and now I finally have the chance to share it with you guys because I did make a video replacing the fog lights on this truck but I didn't want to upload that video before I showed you guys the truck because I have yet to do that and I bought this truck back in October so hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below what you guys think of this truck and I'll see you guys in the next video please take care peace